Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Um, I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Are you financially independent, right? And the other question is, um, and do you know if you're comfortable quitting your full-time job and going for your, um, uh, depending on your passive income? Because we, we always talk about uh, generating passive income and eventually the goal is to quit your regular job and be your own boss as long as you have your financial independence. So that's my question to you. Are you financially independent? And do you, do you know when to quit your uh, full-time job, right? How do you know that you're financially independent? That's the million dollar question. At which point do you know? At which point do you figure out, okay, I'm financially independent. I'm good to go. I'm going to quit. I'm going to just send the resignation letter when I go to the office today and I am done with this and I'm going to be my own boss. But how do you know that? That's the million dollar question. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. And the expert is on the other side. And uh, how do you take on that, Quentin? Right. Yeah, actually, I was thinking I was in the same uh, position, right? Like maybe a few years ago, Yeah. I, I was making good money and I wanted to quit the job right away. I wanted to jump into the all the sh shiny objects out there, right? Like people talk about you, you do this for two hours a week you would get like $200,000 a yeah. year. Uh, that's, that's all you need to do. And there are tons of videos out there in the YouTube. People just fall for it, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's what I was, I was about to do it, but because I was trying to assess everything, like what if I could, and then I, I lose all these uh, several thousand dollars income every month, every week, right? Uh, and that's coming in. Uh, then I decided I did a lot of assessment. So I just wanted to give you guys, uh, you know, w why did I do that? Uh, why I didn't quit my job? Uh, what I will be doing in the future, right? That's kind of, uh, you know, um, the lessons that I learned from those, uh, you know, self-assessment and doing lots of research and following all the other, other gurus out there, right? Uh, and uh, the main thing is don't do it. <laughs> like if you are in a d dilemma right whether to quit or not quit don't do it that, that's what you should do right yeah. uh and be because you know you need something uh continuously coming in order to develop the passive income you need some some uh, continuous flow of income right uh unless like unless your parents have a lot of money you have some backup you have some, you know, uh, other things going on, uh, then it's okay. But it's all, if you are on your own, uh, basically like you are getting money and then you're saving like, like 50 or 60% of your income uh, only for like, let's say two, three years, right? Uh, that's all you're doing. But you think that that's enough to, you know, just uh, quit the job and start focusing on the full time. Uh, on the other passive income, like investment, real estate investment on YouTube, uh, doing other things, right? Uh, so don't do that. Uh, that that's the main uh, advice. Um, and and you have to do it. Like, let's say, if you can save uh, more than 50% of your income for about 10 years, five to 10 years, right? That is the goal. You have to you have to continuously save more than fifty percent of your income, uh, five to ten years at least. Even if you're making like a six figure, uh, above six figure, all through this ten years, right? You have to save more than fifty percent uh, continuously for five to ten years. So basically, what you're saying is, uh, if you want, if you feel like quitting today, or you you may have several things coming in. If you're in a dilemma, one, number one is uh, don't do it. And number two is it shouldn't be like haphazard, right? Right. You have to be continuously, you, you sh should have been doing it for a considerable amount of time so you can be in a position where you can make the call. So your second point is start saving money now, like right now, if you want to quit in five or 10 years, start saving now. That's number two, right? Right, right. And another thing is like, uh, stop spending uh, too much money, unnecessary spending. Uh, like, don't buy like luxury cars. Uh, maybe if you can buy one, if you don't buy two, two cars or three cars, don't do all those things. Just try to be minimalist for those five to 10 years, whatever you're trying to save, right? 
so that's going to speed up your uh, progress. Uh, that is what I've been doing uh, probably last five years, uh, around five years. And on top of that, uh, whatever you're sa saving, put that in the right investment. Uh, for example, real estate, like we talk about all the time, yeah. or index funds or you know, something that is more stable, that's going to grow at least like 10% every year. Mm -hmm. uh, think about five to 10 years, you're saving more than 50% of your income. Uh, the more the better, like, you know, I think uh, some, of, some of them actually saves like 70, 80% of their income. Uh, so if you could get to that 50 to the more like 70% goal uh, savings of your income, that's much better. And it's going to speed up. Everything is going to speed up. But, but let's say uh, you are, you're following our path, this path, right, for first five years. And then 50 year, you probably can think about quitting your job because you have enough reserve. Uh, even if you quit a job, you're not going to go down the hill, right? Way, yeah. uh, you will still have some, uh, so, if something goes wrong after five years, you can go the, back. The, the, the important thing you mentioned was invest in the right savings category, right? It could right. be either high, high interest rate savings account or index fund or real estate, something. So just saving may not be that enough, but at the same time, like you said, if you make a call to quit, then having savings is good so you can take care of your food and rent and all that. That's a different story. But, but at the same time, it is important to invest those savings in the right investment category, savings category too. That can yield you uh, at least 10% every year. The, mm -hmm. you know, the real estate is going to have like a 5% growth and also you might have a cash flow. So right. everything included, real estate will definitely have more than 10% right. year over year growth. Uh, just like index funds will have that. Uh, but if you're trying to put it into a penny stock, you might lose everything. If you have $100,000, you might lose everything. Or it might become 200 and you try to put all 200 in there and you might become zero, right? Yeah. So don't take any high risk uh, during that five year period. Just put everything in the, you know, very low risk, high yield, um, you know, uh, investments. Uh, and then as long as you can get above 10%, you are going to double your money almost. Uh, uh, that's a goal, right? And another thing is the four person rule that we talked about, right? Uh, so if you can live off the four percent of your savings, so at the end of the year, let's say at the end of five years, you have five hundred thousand saved dollar, right? And then the four percent, uh, like twenty thousand dollar, your your total expenses is twenty thousand dollar a year. You can easily withdraw that twenty thousand dollar from your investment every year. Uh, continuously and every year it's, it's going to become like, if you withdraw like 500,000, 20,000, 480,000 will become 500 at the end of the year again. Right. And then you withdraw again 20,000, it's going to become 500. Like it, so it's not going to go down, it'll always be there there or it'll just go up. Right. Uh, that I think is we discussed the, the that at a, on, a, on a different episode too about the 4%. Right, rule, right, right. Yeah. right. So those are some of the things like, uh, like main thing is you need to have something continuously flowing mm -hmm. so that you can, you, the income, so that you can invest on the side as of that you are working on. And, and you can think about, you, oh, you can quit and continuously put all your time in there. That may be possible, but don't do it in the beginning. You need to have something very solid, yeah. uh, nest egg developed, right? Nest egg in there for you. Right so that you can be confident even you lose a job uh you know you, you quit your job uh anything happens to your job uh you still have that nest egg uh and to rely on and get the money your expenses uh for the future at least for one year and then if you think it's not working out go back to the job again that's people do that yeah. Uh, and uh, and like us, you can do YouTube videos, right? Uh, you quit your job, but you have other things going on and you're bored. Uh, you can start doing YouTube uh, to make extra money. And, and even uh, like I started off this in a stuffing animal, stuffing bear business, right? One of the one of the one of the advices given by the operator, the, the chairman of the company was, Randy, don't quit your job. Let, let's let's give it a shot like i know you want to quit your job and you know make this your main income stream but just give it a shot you know for for a few years that's exactly what he said in his own words because you don't know whether because this might be for you or this might not be for you 
who knows unless you give it a shot right so i'm glad that i didn't quit i didn't even want to quit but i i also wanted to follow the same direction but that's a good advice that uh, was given by, i mean if if they truly want you to be successful and if you want you to be successful give it a try but without quitting that's exactly your point like first first point and also if you are on the fence don't make that call <laughs> right <laughs> right and you know, if you if you haven't taken any point out of this uh, 10 minute video at least take that into heart you know if you are in two minds don't make the call exactly yeah just just follow your heart but uh, follow your gut too sometimes you have a gut feeling that you will yeah. be you will be good even if you could a job so just follow your uh, instincts yeah all right thank you guys thanks for watching and if you have any further questions let us know by adding a comment in the comment box thank you guys